At Lexington Diagnostic Center, we love athletes. We understand that when you are injured, the results of an MRI, CT scan, or x-ray can be the only thing keeping you off the field. And that's what we're here for. Same or next day appointments, front door parking, and our on-site radiologists make it easy for you to quickly get the results you and your doctor need. Call and compare prices. We can save you hundreds of dollars. We would love to help get you back in the game. Call and compare prices at the Lexington Diagnostic Center. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 transactions were made on the go last year using the Whitaker Bank mobile app. Over 340,000 text alerts were sent last year with Whitaker Bank Text Banking. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Will High Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. You see it on the field, and you see it on the court. Pick it up at all sports, pick it up at all sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. My tax refund usually helps me out, but this year it was much lower than what it was supposed to be. This isn't enough to get me caught up. What am I supposed to do? Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Say no to debt. Get your bankruptcy started for as little as $78 today. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in London. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be, for generations to come. I used my credit cards over the holidays, and I thought I could make it work. But between the bills and everything else, I'm really starting to fall behind. A lot of people out there are drowning in debt. We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. You can have a brighter future away from debt. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Say no to debt. Get your bankruptcy started for as little as $78 today. In Lexington and now in London. Sitters are here. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, kids, behave. Man to man, I got the little guy. <laughs> oh, did you leave cash for the pizza? I got it. With more features than ever. All right, who's hungry? Mobile banking from Central Bank lets you deposit checks, you're out. pay bills, okay, you're gonna get a rip screen. send and receive funds with pop money, and more. Hey. So you can stay in the game without missing a step. A Do more with mobile banking from Central Bank, official bank of UK Athletics. 
Folks, this is Gary Ball, and you hear my catchphrase, soup and a sandwich. When I want the best potato soup and prime rib sandwich, I head over to Rafferty's Restaurants after my games. Check out Rafferty's nine great locations throughout Kentucky, and all you teens, you can eat at Rafferty's before those big ball games. The open prime rib sandwich is what legends are made of. Ask Joe B. Hall, the legend himself, it's his favorite. Rafferty's a big supporter of high school sports throughout Kentucky. Rafferty's, where the special is you. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. You see it on the field, if you see it on the court. Pick it up at all sports, pick it up at all sports. In Fayette Mall and AllSportsLEX.com, locally owned and operated since 1972. At White, Greer, and Maggard Orthodontics, we believe that greatness is in the details. Each decision we make is for the benefit of our patients and our community. This means using industry-leading technology to help you achieve your goals and uncover your perfect smile. Our precision and efficiency results in an experience that is both pleasurable and affordable. White, Greer, and Maggard Orthodontics, applying precision and elegance to your smile. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 956 Kentucky charities and community events. Employees of Whitaker Bank volunteered 14,860 hours to better our Kentucky communities. 93 nonprofits that promote diversity and inclusion in Kentucky are supported by Whitaker Bank. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. There are 50 Whitaker Bank locations serving Kentucky communities just like mine. 61 Whitaker Bank ATMs throughout Kentucky make getting quick access to cash easy. Whitaker Bank staff serves the needs of nearly 70,000 Kentucky customers every day. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. Good evening, welcome to Lexington Christian Academy High School. I'm Greg Horn with William Warfield. We've got a big time city matchup tonight as the two private schools, Lexington Christian Academy and Lexington Catholic High School have a rematch in the first game was a tell of two halves. Uh, Lexington Christian uh, had a 10 point lead at the end of the first quarter. Looked like they were gonna be totally in control. Uh, got down to four points, I believe it was at halftime. But the second half was all Lexington Catholic. 
as they just really dominated the second half and winded up winning 52 to 40. In fact, uh, the 40 points was the lowest scoring output of the whole year for Lexington Christian Academy as they just could not get any type of uh, offensive flow going in the second half against Lexington Catholic. But the positive news for Lexington Christian Academy Eagle fans is they have not lost since that game. The Eagles have won 13 games in a row since that game back on January 2nd. And the Eagles come into this game 20 and six. So at the time they were seven and five, lost that game, so that made them seven and six. And now they've rolled off 13 straight W's to go 20 and six. Lexington Catholic, kind of been an up and down year for them. They're 15 and eight on the year. So obviously having a good season, but uh, probably not the, quite to the level they thought they would. Uh, they had won four in a row within the last two games, so they have lost. And uh, Lafayette beat them by 10 on January 30th, 68 to 58. And then on Tuesday night, just had one of those nights that it happens once a year to every team. Uh, kind of happened to LCA against Lexington Catholic when they lost on January 2nd, but they lost at home. Lexington Catholic did to Madison Central 82 to 45. That is correct. Almost 40 points, 37 to be exact. Lexington Catholic lost at home to Madison Central 82 to 45. But you know what? You can throw all that out the window. Uh, it is Friday night, three days later, I'm sure Lexington Catholic's got a bad taste in their mouth after going down to Madison Central, 82 to 45. And so we always expect a great show. Hey, I don't, I don't know if you mentioned this or not. I've been over here, but uh, listen, this game right here has got big time district implications tonight. And uh, if LCA can win this game and win their next district game, they're the only ones that's got district games left. This is it after tonight, right? Yeah. But if LCA can win this game and win the next one, they're the number one seed. And I believe the district's hosted at LCA. And it's too. hosted here, right? So it would be huge. I hadn't brought that up, so I'm glad you did. No, I hadn't done that. I was just a little history. You're right. So there's a lot more beside it just being two this, teams that, you know, are rivals. This game means something. The game that we had beforehand, no disrespect to the girls, but it, it I mean, it was already set for the girls. It didn't, right. That game didn't mean anything. Yeah. This game means a ton. So even more, yeah, what William just said there on top of it being a big battle. And like I said, it was, it was a tale of two halves. But last time they played with LCA put in the first half, but Lexington Catholic won the half that mattered. The second half and won the game by 12. So, uh, but man, you had these district implications that are now at stake. This should be a phenomenal game tonight. So I want to encourage you, if you know any of your friends or family that couldn't make it to the game, crowd, really, really good crowd on both sides, both LCA across the way from me, and then Lexington Catholic right underneath us here. So. Uh, let them know, prepspin.com. You can watch it high def, man. My mom, give her a shout out to Lois Horn, watching it on her Apple TV. So always good to have that. And I know Will Hacker's grandparents, uh, both Damble and Corbin, love to watch it. And we've got relatives I know all over uh, the United States that love to watch these games, this, William. Yeah, this game is, uh, this game is gonna be one of the true classics, I think, here tonight. We got a lot of people tuning in already because they, they know <laughs> that this one, the Marvel, you know, all the Marvels are out there. You know, it's, it's absolutely, absolutely, man. It's, it's do or don't do, you know. Great, great Friday night game. So I know that they will definitely, definitely bring it. Be, both teams will be really, really intense. And mm -hmm. we look forward to it. Question is, how many dunks will we get in this game? In the warm ups, we saw <laughs> quite a few dunks being thrown down. <laughs> well, let me, let me tell you something you know, for, for Lexington Catholic, Keegan Bailey, if you watch him in warm ups, my goodness, he can enter the NBA slam dunk contest and probably have a shot at winning it. He's got some hops, doesn't he? Man, did you see some of those? Yeah, oh, yeah, I was done getting the stat sheet. And then, you got, then you got Z Payne. He can throw it down. Uh, uh, and i tell you, another kid that can throw it down, which is uh, uh, the little brother of – where's he at? Of course, we know Max Bartman can throw it down. Oh, yeah, Bartman was down there throwing him see. down there, too. I'm not seeing my, I'm not seeing my guy on the, on the list there. Is he not on the team no more? Oh, there he is. Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson, yes, yeah. sir. Yep, yep, the, yeah. fresh, the freshman. He can really get up. Yep. Yeah, so so Ben Johnson can get up out there on the floor. Everybody knows that. He's, he's just a, a freshman, like you said. Um, and then for LCA, of course, you know, the three big guys, they can, they can throw it in. Of course, Kyle will never do it. Yeah. Kyle will never throw down a dunk. I don't know why, but 
He, he's just one of those kids. It's just fundamental basketball with him. Maybe maybe next year on his senior night, maybe he gives us that going away gift and does that. But yeah. Right now, you're right. But yeah, Austin Hall and and uh, and uh, uh, Carter, Hendrickson. Right Carter Hendrickson. Yeah. Well, my Hendrickson. mind's going blank right now. Yeah, I got, got too much going on up here. <laughs> you got a lot of games going on. Yeah. Brother, yeah. Carter Carter and uh, Austin. Those those guys definitely could throw it down. And Carter's. Carter's got some pretty nasty dunks sometimes. Hey, the one you got, I saw uh, on Twitter, you had the replay of him doing the follow-up dunk against Lafayette last Friday night. Ooh, yeah. That was nice. Yeah, that was, that was really good. <laughs> that was really I – mean, it wasn't his most impressive dunk that he's had all right, season, right. but it was it was pretty good. It was a good one. Austin Hall had a really good one that game too. But I, I like this game here tonight. I, I don't think that uh, – I don't think that this game is going to be the same as the first game. Between the two. I, th I think they're both better teams now. Um, oh, absolutely. So, I'm really looking forward to this one. You know, it's the it's the battle of Private Lexington right here tonight. District implications on the line. Winner's going to take the number one spot. You know, so. Got yeah. a good one. We'll have to see how it all shakes out. Uh, Taste Creek's going to be the last spot. We know that. Dunbar will probably be the next one. And then you're going to have Lafayette, LCA, and Lexington Catholic all battling for one, two, and three. Yep. And it all depends on this game. Well, <laughs> it's going to be a good one. Can't wait. The interesting part, William, is both teams are really good defensively. I didn't realize that's preparing for the game. LCA gives up 51.8 points a game. Mm -hmm. Lexington Catholic, 51.9. So you got yeah. two teams that really like to lock in on defense. But I don't know. Uh, the, f the first time uh, they played, it was 52 to 40. Catholic won, but mm -hmm. LCA just couldn't throw one in the ocean. The second half. So I'm like you. I expect a much better game tonight. And, and to top it off, you got senior night here tonight. You got Hendrickson Hall and uh, McIntyre, all about to. Did I miss anybody? I don't think no, I did. You got it, brother. All, right, you know uh, it. all of them getting ready to graduate, and yep. then, um, then you got two great coaches going oh, toe to toe absolutely. here tonight. Brandon Salzman. Yeah, Sal Salzman is is a legend. I, you know, he's one of he's one of my favorite coaches in the state. I, I'll be honest with everybody. I I love Brandon Salzman. He is such a great coach. That's a great job. Nate, the same way. I, f I feel the same about Nate. You know, it's just uh, you you get some of these coaches out there that that truly know the game and you know they work with what they've got out there. And both of these teams are are amazing. I think Sal's. I think Salzman is more like your uh, X's and O's guys out, out there sometimes because I've seen them in practice quite a few times. You know, uh, with my association with Lexington Catholic over the years, but um, he is. I mean, he's 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 a good coach, and he's got great uh, assistant coaches behind him. Absolutely. Yeah. Both have great staff. So you got two great coaching staff, lots of great players, great crowd. I mean, this this is going to be a big time game. Yeah, that's huge. You got the, the kids over there. I mean, you got Full House over there with them. You got the ESPN table out. And <laughs> let's see if we can get a Sports Center top ten tonight. What do you think? Absolutely, man. Let's do it. All right, well, let's hang on it. tight. Let me let me get their uh, music turned down here so they can do starting lineups and we're ready to roll. Sounds like a win.
Greg Horn, thanks for tuning in tonight to Prep Spin. We thank White Bear and Akron once a for being our title sponsor, making this possible. William Warfield is right. the on the color commentary. Outstanding long haul shooter for six seven. 
has to play underneath a lot. Now he can shoot it from deep. He said he makes some threes all the way from seem like Woodford County somewhere. He got way back. Guys, uh, they've got a lot of a lot on their shoulders tonight.
At Lexington Diagnostic Center, we love athletes. We understand that when you are injured, the results of an MRI, CT scan, or x-ray can be the only thing keeping you off the field. And that's what we're here for. Same or next day appointments, front door parking, and our on-site radiologists make it easy for you to quickly get the results you and your doctor need. Call and compare prices. We can save you hundreds of dollars. We would love to help get you back in the game. Call and compare prices at the Lexington Diagnostic Center. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are... Back here live at Lexington Christian Academy, William Warfield, and on the play call, Mr. Greg Horn. All right, welcome back as we get ready to start this one off here. Great first quarter, 14-13. I'm sorry, 16-14, apologize. I got a text from the fans as they're tired watching at home, just keeping up with this pace. <laughs> Isaiah Hunt shot the jumper, didn't get it to fall. Rebound goes to Javon Harden, brings it up over to Spartan, looks inside, try to see if he can get to Bryce Scott. He can't, Spartan, nice job going in for the close wow. jumper, but can't get it. Did you see everybody back off of Spartan right there? I mean, nobody guarded him. Everybody just backed off and let him shoot the shot. Good scouting report information there. It's Spartan obviously down low, right around the basket. He's dangerous, but still developing that uh, jump shot a little bit from distance. Will Hacker, though, he can shoot that jump shot. He, that's his favorite shot, but couldn't get it to quite stay down, so rebound goes to the Knights. You can tweet at us at PrepSpin, P-R-E-P-S-P-I-N. Let us know where you're watching. Yeah, let us know where you're watching. Give us a shout out to your favorite team. And Maybe Patrick make... Brennan watching tonight. All right, Patrick Johnson. Oh, I'm sorry, that's CJ Price. Kicks it. Payne, three ball in the corner. Rims out. Pierce Dalton, a little small guy, probably next to Harden on the floor. Skies up and gets the rebound. Love how hard Pierce Dalton plays, man. He he brings it every night. We got the three big towers there, but he and Will Hacker done a great job complimenting those guys. And got a long pass there. It's going to be over and back. Over and back. I'm going to turn you up just a little bit here. They got somebody trying to trying to hear us a little bit better out there. And All right. Over. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So on the turnover, it'll go over to the Knights. 16-14. LCA Hendrickson had three three-point shots he made in the first quarter to lead everybody with nine. Zan Payne leading the Knights with six points. He played an excellent first quarter. Then T.J. Uh, Price had five points also. On the turnover, it'll go over to LCA. Both these teams are strong defensively as LCA 10th in the state at 51.8 points holding their opponents to. Lexington Catholic only a tenth of a point behind, so two great defensive teams here tonight. So Kyle Rhodes said, I'm not going to wait on the defense. I'm going to shoot the three ball. That was a nice uh, three there by Rowe, able to knock that down. Absolutely, and that's one of the things in his game that's really gotten better as this season's progressed. Payne, though, he is on fire, William Warfield. That's eight. He's, I mean, he's got it locked in, you know. He most certainly does. He's already got eight, and he averages 21 a game, so he's well on his way with still five minutes and 40 seconds left here in the second quarter. Hall lost it, tried to do a little up and under, but lost the handle. And yeah, Spartan there with a the good hand is able to block the shot. Isaiah Hunt on hard and good matchup there. Two tremendous athletes. Three ball in the corner by Price, but it's off. Rebound goes to the Eagles, and Coach Valentine says, all right, let's slow it down now. Let's take advantage of our height advantage and see if we can get something closer in. Or a layup like Rowe. Yeah, that's, that's their go-to right now. You know, uh, for Lexington Catholic, their go-to is going to be pain, and for LCA, it's got to go through Rowe right now. Yep, Rowe does a great job of passing, so once they start trying to pick him up on those drives, he will dish it off as he leads the LCA team in assists this year. Has got 110 assists already. Having a great year, great passer. He's got seven right now with the Eagles. Henderson's got nine to lead LCA. T.J. Price, trying to think about it, or T.C. Price, I apologize. Jumper by Bailey is off. Rowe with another rebound. He gets almost eight a game, so. 
He's probably already got that this game. <laughs> no doubt. Good penetration by Dalton. Short. Oh, Dalton almost got another rebound. Wow, attacking wow. the hard and got that to go. How did that go for Price? GC Price with the follow. Josh Moore just tweeted us and said he's heading over to this game now, over to see us. Isaiah Hunt, a little bit long. Bailey with the rebound. Twenty-one eighteen. LCA's biggest lead of three points. Catholic was up on top, five nothing. It's been back and forth since then. What you expect in a big matchup? Isaiah Hunt with the hand says, "I'll take that, Mr. Sparkman. Can't bring you down if you're a big, because those guards are just waiting on it." Yeah, they're sitting there and almost telegraphing some of those passes out there. Yeah, we've got two de good defensive teams here tonight. Hendrickson, he likes to back them down. Kicks it out, Dalton wide open, good three-point shooter, but can't get that one to fall. Oh, great pass there. Another better pass from Bailey, but unfortunately Spartman couldn't make it wow. but the foul. Did you see T.C. Price come out of nowhere and put that one back in? Bailey's got, T.C. Price has got nine points. He is balling. Yeah, Price brought his A game. No doubt about it, T.C. Price, the senior. Averaging five points a game, he's got nine already. So he is really stepping up tonight, a senior, knowing this is the last time that uh, it'll be a city battle like this, unless they can meet somehow in the district or regional play here. But big time game here, great atmosphere. Glad you joined us. I'm Greg Horn, joined by William Moorfield. We appreciate White Rear Maggard Orthodontics for being our title sponsor. Also want to thank Bluegrass Orthopedics, Andrew Carlson, Harold Dennis, two uh, great guys there. Uh, take care of the student athletes. Uh, just care not only, obviously, about all of their physical care, but also really care about them as people and helping these uh, teenagers as they're maturing, not just ac uh, athletically, but also academically, and as uh, people and getting ready to go out in the real world, go to college or work. Really appreciate the people that Andrew Carlson, Harold Dennison are with Bluegrass Orthopedics, two outstanding guys. Kyle Rowe gets it in. He does a great job of handling. Picks it up. Gets it to Henderson. Six seven six six, bringing it up over the press. And Bailey's going to be called for the foul. Coach Salzman's like, where? How? But that, that's only the first foul. It's been nice. We've got only two fouls on Catholic and zero on LCA. That's unbelievable. We only got three minutes left till halftime. Rowe drives. Going to try the left side. Kicks it. And the three ball by Zeke Greer, who just checked into the game during that last timeout. He's just a sophomore. He can really shoot it, but couldn't find the range on that one. The LCA goes a little bit small. Three ball is off by Ben Johnson. Hendrickson with a strong pull. Yeah, Hendrickson with a nice rebound right there. Payne with a nice rebound on the other end as they were bringing the ball up the floor. Yeah, Payne playing well. Road. Wow, he just manned that one up against Bryce Scott. Couldn't get the fall, but Rowe just said, I'm confident enough in my strength that I can get this off, but just couldn't get the shooter's roll. Who's a big 45 for Catholic there? Bryce Scott. Bryce Scott, man, he's grown a ton. Yeah, he looked like he's grown since the game January 2nd. He's a junior. He, he's grown since we tipped this one off. What are you talking about? <laughs> Speaking of him, he says, there you go, Mr. Warfield. I'm going to let you know my game's <laughs> growing, too. Yeah, that was, a, that was the Scott hook, if you will. Yes, sir. Looking good. Nice move by him in the post. Oh, good job there breaking the pressure that time by LCA. But Catholic takes the lead, 22-21. Dalton dribbles, tries to get the hacker in the corner. Dalton to Road on the block. He goes up strong. He gets it. Kyle Rowe with nine points now. He ties Carter Hendrickson for the LCA lead in scoring. And Carter's done it with three threes. Exactly. Carter Hendrickson putting on a shooting clinic in the first quarter. Hasn't shot one yet this quarter. Bailey with the three ball. It's good. Buckets for him. I mentioned Bailey, you know, in warm-ups with those dunks that he did, man. Just phenomenal throwdowns. We got a timeout here, Nate. Yeah, he's a 34% three-point shooter. He looked like a 50% shooter on that one, so going to 
keep an eye out for him. But he's a, a senior. I mean, a lot of good seniors on this team. Sam Payne for Catholic, 23, is a senior. Keegan Bailey, number five, just hit that three, is a senior. T.C. Price, number three, is a senior. Javon Harden, number one, junior. Bryce Scott, the big fella, hit the hook in the lane while ago, the little jump hook. He's a junior. Then big number 14, Max Spartman, he's a senior. So a lot of uh, experience on this Catholic team. Uh, LCA, Carter Hendrickson, a senior. Number 24, Austin Hall, who also has a college scholarship. be playing at the University of the Cumberlands in Williamsburg, Kentucky is a senior, and then Jake McIntyre, who has not played basketball since middle school, uh, is a great golfer, but decided he wanted to go back out and play basketball senior year. And, uh, he provides great, a great role model in practice, plays hard, great teammate, and he played some, but uh, that's it for seniors on LCA. So, but this is a great game, so we thought it would be Catholic leading by two. Both teams have had the lead at different times. The biggest lead was Lexington Catholic 5-0 at the beginning, but since then it's been a two or three point game back and forth between each team, which is what we expected. Out of the timeout, see what Coach Valentine draws up. Bailey almost gets another steal. Great hustle. Keegan Bailey, man, you got to know where he's at because He's flying all over the court, getting deflections, and almost had the steal there. Fortunate break for LCA. I want to give a shout out to uh, Lydia Grace watching on her phone tonight. Couldn't make the game, but she's wishing the Eagles well. Thanks for joining us, Lydia. Bryce Scott with a nice steal in the paint. Walks it up. Coach Sossman calls out the play for the Knights. Harden drives, He's got good defense by Dalton. Harden gets a jumper off and it's off. And Rowe with another rebound. Kyle's all over it tonight. Yeah, big players step up in big games and expect Kyle Rowe to have a good one. As Hendrickson's already doing it. And Austin Hall, he's played solid too in these games. So the big three for LCA and great complimentary players in Hacker and Dalton that do a great job rounding out the starting five. Back door, oh. <laughs> not quite there. Good look, but timing off a little bit. Johnson pulls up, good defense by Hacker to make him alter the shot. Yeah, that, was, that was definitely a block. I want to thank Bud's Gunshot for being one of our sponsors, our replay sponsor tonight. Thank you so much for all you do for us. Rex McClanahan, such a great guy, and uh, said, I don't need the, I don't need the marketing. You know, I don't need the marketing at all, basically. But he said, I love high school sports. I just want to support you. Well, we appreciate that. Making a lot of people happy watching this game all over the state of Kentucky and grandparents in Minnesota. Are we at halftime already? We were at halftime, my man. Only three fouls, wow. I believe, caught in the whole first half. So Hold on just one second. I'll be right back. I'm going to help get them on some music real quick, and I'll be right back, folks. All right, your halftime score, Catholic 25, LCA 23. All right, we'll be right back. We're going to step out for just a moment. We'll be right back here live at Lexington Christian Academy. It's LCA and Lexington Catholic in a tight one here at halftime.
I'll keep you in good company And be there for you to the end You'll never be alone, my friend mm -hmm. At Lexington Diagnostic Center, we love athletes. We understand that when you are injured, the results of an MRI, CT scan, or x-ray can be the only thing keeping you off the field. And that's what we're here for. Same or next day appointments, front door parking, and our on-site radiologists make it easy for you to quickly get the results you and your doctor need. Call and compare prices. We can save you hundreds of dollars. We would love to help get you back in the game. Call and compare prices at the Lexington Diagnostic Center. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 transactions were made on the go last year using the Whitaker Bank mobile app. Over 340,000 text alerts were sent last year with Whitaker Bank text banking. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Will High Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. You see it on the field, and you see it on the court. Pick it up at all sports, pick it up at all sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. My tax refund usually helps me out, but this year it was much lower than what it was supposed to be. This isn't enough to get me caught up. What am I supposed to do? Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Say no to debt. Get your bankruptcy started for as little as $78 today. Two great defensive teams here tonight. So Kyle Rhodes said, I'm not going to wait on the defense. I'm going to shoot the three ball. That was a nice uh, three there by Rowe. A game that's really gotten better as the season's progressed. Payne, though, he is on fire, William Warfield. Closer in. Or a layup like Rowe. Yeah, they're wow, attacking wow. the hard and got that to go. How did that go for Price? GC Price with the foul. Oh, good three-point shooter, but can't get that one to fall. Oh, great pass there. Another better pass from Bailey, but unfortunately Sparkman couldn't make it wow. but the foul. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Speaking of him, he says, there you go, Mr. Warfield. I'm going to hack in the corner. Dalt to Road on the block. He goes up strong. He gets it. Kyle Road with the first quarter. Hasn't shot one yet this quarter. Bailey with the three ball. It's good. Buckets. Johnson pulls up. Good defense by Hacker to make him alter the shot. Yeah, that, was, that was definitely a block. Welcome back to Lexington Christian Academy High School. I'm Greg Horn, joined by Prep Spins founder and president William Warfield. We got a great 
battle here tonight between the Lexington Catholic Knights and the Lexington Christian Academy Eagles. We'll look at some halftime statistics for you. First for Lexington Catholic, Keegan Bailey had three points, two assists and one steal. Ben Johnson had three points and one assist. Javon Harden, uh, he played but did not score but did have one assist. T.C. Price had an outstanding first half. He only averages five a game. He had nine in the first half. He had two assists. Zim Payne, the senior, the leading scorer and rebounder for Lexington Catholic, played a phenomenal first half. He had eight points on four of nine from the field. It seemed like he didn't miss quite that many, but uh, he was getting up and down the court so quickly there at times the game was that Probably missed one or two, but he had two rebounds to go along with his eight points, also two assists, and had three steals. A phenomenal job on the defensive end by him right now. And then you've got also Max Bartman, who uh, played in the first half, uh, was not able to score, but had one rebound, and he had two steals. He had a block and an assist, so doing a lot of other things to help his team. Bryce Scott was one for one from the field with two points, two rebounds, and one steal. So uh, Lex McCallick had seven steals in the first half. Very impressive defensive battle by the Knights. For LCA, you got Pierce Dalton. He uh, did not score. Uh, had a couple good looks from three-point range. Just could not get him to fall. They went in and out. Good looks. He wouldn't fall. He did have one rebound. Uh, Carter Hendrickson, three for four from three-point range for nine points, two rebounds. Uh, Zeke Greer played, uh, did not score. Uh, Kyle Rowe, four for eight from the field. He had nine points. The tie with Carter Hendrickson for the lead for LCA. Had six rebounds, and he had one block. Austin Hall had two points, four rebounds, so leading rebounder, uh, actually, I apologize. Rhodes a leading rebounder, so second leading rebounder for LCA. Austin Hall also with three assists, so uh, not scoring as much, but had three assists. Will Hacker had three points. He had one assist and one block. Isaiah Hunt did play, but did not uh, score. And then for the game, shooting percentage, likes the Catholic 42%, LCA 39%. From three-point range, Catholic three for 10 for 30%. Lexington Christian Academy five of 13 for 38 and a half percent. LCA did not get to the free throw line or did Lexington Catholic. Uh, this half flew by because we had a total amount of fouls, two on Lexington Catholic. And I don't know if I've ever seen this, but zero fouls on LCA in the first half in what was a very competitive and physical game. Um, shocking. We only had two fouls total between both teams in a big time city matchup like this and between two big rivals. So uh, obviously it's fun to watch play. I didn't think, I thought the officials did a good job, so didn't think things were getting out of hand on either team. So it flies by when there's not a lot of fouls called. The LCA, the one thing they need to do, uh, they need to take better control, uh, better handle and control of the ball. They had. Um, Nine turnovers, like the Catholic has only three turnovers, so that right there is going to hurt you when you commit nine turnovers in one half. So let's see what LCA can do in the second half, and we are underway as Lexington Catholic will get it to start the half. Spartman's got it, tries to get it to Payne on the block. He does, gets it out to Johnson, back to Spartman. Now T.C. Price, who had nine points, had a big-time first half for the Knights. He's yeah, got he it. Yep. His, uh, his dad drives from Huntington just about every day to watch his son play. Well, that's phenomenal. And Ben Johnson there buries his second three and increases Catholic's lead to five. They were up five to nothing at the beginning of the game, so they have had this lead one other time, but LCA actually got up uh, midway through the first quarter. And Carter Henderson said, I didn't get any threes in the second quarter. But now that Josh Moore from the Herald Leaders in the house, I'm going to start making them again. <laughs> I don't know. The chant over there was, we're on prep spin. Did you hear him? <laughs> did it really? Yeah, did you hear him? Uh -uh, I didn't notice Yeah, that. they were saying, we're on prep spin. Love we're it. We're on prep spin. Love it. Great student section. They are packed in there tonight. Well, the, the Catholic section is not on prep spin tonight because they're on our side, and we can't get them on the camera right now. So LCA was chanting over there, we're on prep spin. Great pass by Payne. Spartman, unfortunately, not able to finish as he got his shot contested there with all those big trees for LCA. Rowe gets it into Hall, but 
He couldn't quite get it, and so great hustle by all both teams as three or four guys were in there getting on the floor. And as a coach, man, that's what you want is loose ball instead of the guys bending over. You want them to get on the floor, giving that effort. Check this did. out. Adi Stewart watching from Port St. Lucie, Florida. What's going on with Will Hacker tonight? She wants to know. Will Hacker has got three points right now, so uh, he had a couple he's, other three-point shots and just, I mean, they went in but rolled out the last second, so he's playing a nice, solid game as always. Hendrickson, can he get another three? He does! Do, do you see the mean look that he gives when he goes back down the, down the court, Hendrickson? He does. He's got that game face, man. He it's does like, have a game face on. I don't know. It's almost like Bigfoot running down there, and he's looking <laughs> like to scare people, you know? <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. Carter Hendrickson. I'm going to nickname him Sasquatch. Sasquatch. <laughs> hey. Sasquatch, that's a compliment. Man. Shoot and dunk like he does. Oh, so, man, LCA gets back on top. He's great, man. Oh, yeah. He's going to miss watching him. Wow. Shooter's roll there. Ben Johnson hit the front of the rim, but went high and then fell. And a good shooter like him, man, that's a shooter's roll. He's had a nice game. He's got nine points, so he and Price have nine. Zen Payne's got eight, so they've got three guys almost in double figures for Lexington Catholic. Carter Henderson leading everybody with 15. Cal Rhodes got nine. Austin Hall, two. But Cal Rhodes said, I'll take double figures, too. I've got 12 now. Kyle lighting it up still. Really shooting the ball the month of January after his ankle got healed from that really severe ankle yeah. sprain December. Shooting with the ball with a lot of confidence. Well, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, those losses in the beginning of the season, well, I mean, they played in the King of the Bluegrass, which is tough. But those losses in the beginning of the season, a lot of those were without Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. And Payne counts the bucket and he's talking the smack over there to Hall. Watch this. Let's watch this on replay. So you're going to see shot. Payne and watch, watch him tell Hall. So count the bucket. That was a nice take by Payne. He's a Payne, Payne always plays emotional. I mean, I've I seen him uh, play against West Jasmine that way. I've seen him play, I mean, just about every game. You know, he, he gets the emotion going and, uh, you know, he, he just doesn't hold back <laughs> sometimes. He's passionate. He's got 11 uh, points now, so he's the first night in double figures tonight. And he gives Catholic a one-point lead on the old-fashioned three-point play there. Yeah. What a great game, though, 33-32. Catholics play mainly, man. They've done a little bit of zone tonight, trying to mix it up, which is what good coaches do. And I believe Spartan's going to be called for holding Hall in the paint. Uh, Spartan, that's going to be his first. This came up a very, very close one right now, and it, it is going to go down to the wire. You guys don't want to go anywhere. No, sir. This game, like every possession, is huge because it's so close. Trying to get inside the hall and Spartman trying to do a good job moving his feet, but Hall obviously being the savvy senior that he is, is battling for position. Hendrickson and Payne, that's a great matchup there. Two yeah. studs right there going after. Hall gets it up and under on Spartman, goes up, can't get it, but does draw the foul. Hendrickson and Payne, that matchup kind of scares me because both of those guys, again, they're emotional. Okay. Carter's very emotional for LCA and Payne, very, very emotional for Lexington Catholic. So if, if that was to mix up in this game at some point, especially with the implications on the line, we might have ourselves a little pushing and shoving going on later on in this one. Yeah, I'd love to see a good isolation play for those two to go after each other. Cause I'm not two, saying we will, but we might. Oh, yeah. No, I understand they are both emotional. But two great players, the leading scorers for both their teams. The you should see where Payne winds up playing his college ball. He'll definitely play somewhere. Hall makes both free throws. That gives him four. I, I can tell you, man, he's going to walk on at UK. Well, that's, uh, you know, Kenny Payne was asked about that a couple months ago, and he said, you know, I don't think that's best for him. You know, let him spread his wings, not being, you know, with his dad coaching. But, man, it would be hard to pass up, wouldn't it? Well, I can tell you that that's probably going to happen. Well, I would think it would be. Great experience for the young man. I'd at least try if that was him. So. And the three ball made by Johnson. So he's got 11 2. But Will Hacker says, I'll match that. So our 
friends watching down there in Port Lucia, Florida, they uh, got to see Mr. Hackerberry a three. He's got six. 37-36, LCA, it's been back and forth, one point lead. Bailey, wow, that look, that's a good looking stroke right there. That kid's good, man. What year, what year is he at? He's a senior. Senior, yeah. 34% from three point range, but man, his stroke looks really good. I'm surprised it's not a higher percentage. It really looks good. Rhodes got it, gets the play call from Coach Valentine, drives. And the finish, wow, big time take. Coach Valentine, his jacket didn't last very long and he's heated here on the sideline. He wanted a timeout. He finally got it from the official, but he was upset. Yep, he wanted to get his guys settled in here. I mean, you can't give wide open threes to Bailey like they did a while ago. So, wanted to get make, make sure his guys are focused on the scouting report, finding shooters. And uh, Bailey, that's his second three point shot of the game. So you want to find him, and, and he wanted the timeout there, plus to get set up maybe in the full court press. And the official that was closest to him, obviously uh, it's a big game, but he must have not heard Coach Valentine, even though he was signaling with his hands and yelling timeout, but this one didn't hear him. And so Coach Valentine did get a little animated, but hey, understandably so. This is a big game here, 39-39. I'm Greg Horn, joined by William Warfield. Thanks, thank you to White Rear Magnet for being our title sponsor here on PrepSpin.com. All right, Lexington Catholic will get the ball. And che checking in now in the second half, Javon Harden. Harden played in the first half, so they've got a good backcourt tandem with Harden and Bailey. Yes, they do. LCA in the man-to-man. -man. Bailey tries to get the handoff from Johnson. Johnson backs it out. Hard to believe he's a freshman. A lot of basketball IQ there. Scott, Bryce Scott with a nice jump hook. Couldn't get it to roll, but, man, he's a nice player. Just a junior. Kyle the, all the way. Wow. Kyle Rode, are you serious? He is. Rode with 16. He's leading all scorers now. I think it's a 15. I'm pretty sure Kyle's going to go to one of the biggest schools in America to play basketball. Really? I got a feeling. Hendrickson with the block shot there, but they say he got a little body there. So we only had two fouls called the whole first half, and we've got four already here in the third. But, hey, okay, you can't complain. Obviously, nobody in foul trouble. That's <laughs> very few fouls. That's Hendrickson's first. Austin Hall's got one. That's it for LCA. You better, you better get your brother up here to see Kyle because I'll tell you right now, he's got four schools in Indiana that are serious about him. Hey, he's a nice player. He's going to be a really nice addition for somebody. I don't know. Four big schools. Don't know if this, uh, his mom, uh, Cheryl, who's a great lady. I don't know. Austin might be a little far away. Uh, maybe she'd be willing to relocate, though, and work in Austin because uh, it's a great town. But Indiana, a lot of great basketball there. He's going to make somebody a great player. 41-40, LCA up by one. Dalton Hall corner to Hacker, but good that's that's what's going on tonight is is Lexington Catholic has been quick to guard those corners. Oh. A little push off there by Hendrickson to get the open three, a little acting there by Payne. He's learned well from his father, Timmy. Price, <laughs> Price got a nice rebound off of that too, but yeah. Yeah, everybody goes everybody these days go to that LeBron flop school, right? Oh, absolutely. Big time. Matter of fact, I heard that uh, LeBron is gonna open up a pancake. Uh, shop one day and it's going to be called <laughs> flop cakes <laughs> oh that's good I like that I had heard that one. Oh, Kenny Payne said alright Mr. Henderson you might have pushed off on me but I'm going to get the foul on my end now you know that uh, <laughs> you know that LeBron does own the the pizza chain over there in the summit what's it called uh, oh, uh, uh, hold on a second Blaze Pizza Yes. yes. He, yeah he's, he owns a lot of those does he? yes he does I did not know that I'm glad to hear that because he, he doesn't make much money, so he needs help with his yeah, house payment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of those guys are, you know, Jamal Mashburn, he's one of those guys that's made more money outside of the NBA yeah. than he did in the NBA because of all these businesses that he's got. Yeah, you got to be smart. Yes, you do. You can either make a lot more or you can lose it quickly. Dalton, nice pass to Hall. Hall, oh, been nice if he could have used the glass, but the angle was kind of tough, so 
You can understand why he didn't, but man, that hurts there. And then on the nice. other end, Johnson responds with a three ball, so that's a big swing there. 5-0 swing, if you will, because of the missed deuce on the end for LCA. And then the three ball by Johnson, 44-41. Ambrose goes to the bucket, but T.C. Price will be called for the foul, which actually is a good foul, because Road had a layup, if not. 44 to 41 our score, three point affair here for district implications. It's on the line, folks. I'm really surprised Salzman still has his jacket on though. You see Nate take his off early in the game. Salzman's still cool, calm, and collected over here. Although he does look like he's got a little sweat on the forehead now. <laughs> Fourth quarter, he may have to break that baby out, so take it off. Austin Hall wide open. He says, I can shoot the three ball too. Don't let Roden Henderson fool you. I can shoot the three too, baby. Yes, he can. He's got seven, and he is a good three-point shooter. And he went in the 1,000-point club. So I was going to want to know why they left him open. Yep. In fact, he goes out to Mr. Scott and puts his arm around him and said, son, we talked about that in the scouting report. And Bryce is like, well, you know, coach, I a little bit tired and uh, fatigue causes us all sometimes not to remember things. And so uh, you get tired out there on the court. You can't remember. Most guys that tall as Austin Hall can't shoot it that far out. So uh, but Hall is a good three-point shooter. And that gives him seven points. Kyle Rowe leading everybody for both teams with 16 points. Will Hacker has six with two three-point shots he's made. Carter Henderson, five three-point shots tonight. 15 points, and then um, for Lexington Catholic, you've got Johnson that's got nine. I'm sorry, that's T.C. Price with nine. Ben Johnson with 14, the freshman leading the way for Lexington Catholic. Bryce Scott had a solid three, but it's been a real nice force inside the paint. Lexington Catholic will have the ball coming out of the timeout. Johnson will inbound it to Harden. LCA switches it up. Good job out of the timeout, Nate Valentine. A little 1-3-1 one, one here. I want to thank White Grim Maggard Orthodontics, our title sponsor on the network. And uh, we could not bring you the game tonight without our title sponsor. We appreciate all that they do. Also, Mingy Beef Jerky, the official game day snack of Prep Spin. I want to thank those fine folks as well, and Bluegrass Orthopedics as well. Appreciate their support very much. Good job by Nate Valentine. Out of the timeout, goes to a 1-3-1. One, Hasn't played that the whole game. They get a turnover out of that. Of course, the Catholic now responds with the press. Uh, LCA doing a much better job in the second half so far. They had nine turnovers in the first half and did not do well. And unfortunately, speaking travel. of turnovers, there we go. So and they called Dalton for the travel. Both teams turn it over on consecutive possessions. 44 to 44. Both teams are really great defensive teams that I've shared. They give up barely 52 points a game. And, 44 all, we still got a whole quarter left to play. I got a feeling these two may meet again. I mean, obviously Lafayette is a good Wow. Wow. Johnson lighting it up, man. Holy moly. Ben Johnson, are you serious? 17 points. The freshman buries it from deep. I was going to say, I, I got a feeling that they're going to meet again, though, in the district championship game. Hacker, he responds with a three oh, ball. There he is, Port St. Lucie, Florida. They've got three threes down for Will Hacker. He's got nine. This should be the last possession of the third quarter. We're tied at 47. What a game. Harden's got it. Johnson trying to give him a high screen. He'll roll off that, but good job by Rhodeson. You're not going to get another three, but Harden with the good ball fake. Can't finish it, though. Good uh, job by Hacker. He had such a good look, too. you got to put that in. That basket could come back and haunt him. Yeah, that's a tough one to miss, but... It happens. So into the third quarter. It's going to be tied at 47. We'll be right back. I take the land or walk with me. I'll keep you in good company. And be there for you till the end. You'll never be alone. At Lexington Diagnostic Center, we love athletes. We understand that when you are injured, the results of an MRI, CT scan, or x-ray can be the only thing keeping you off the field. And that's what we're here for. 
Same or next day appointments, front door parking, and our on-site radiologists make it easy for you to quickly get the results you and your doctor need. Call and compare prices. We can save you hundreds of dollars. We would love to help get you back in the game. Call and compare prices at the Lexington Diagnostic Center. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 trans. Welcome back, Lexington Tristan County High School. Greg Horn joined by William Warfield. We've got a great city matchup here between the Lexington Christian Academy Eagles here at home against Lexington Catholic Knights, and we're tied at 47 as we start this fourth quarter. On to the fourth we go. Catholic inside was off of LCA. You can tell it's a big game. You got 20 photographers out there tonight that uh, that are along the uh, the game. Everybody's got a camera in their hand. Absolutely. And got a foul call inside. First foul on Kyle Road on the night. My good friend Wesley Pike, who's watching tonight, and we hope that he gets better. He's got the flu. Wesley got to get better for us, buddy. But uh, he said uh, he coached against Johnson, talking about Ben Johnson in middle school, and he said that that kid can flat out play, one of the best shooters he's ever seen. Yeah, he's tremendous. He really is. Of course, the free throw misses there for Catholics. So. What else you can do? Rowe oh. was a strong take. Oh, Rowe, I thought you was going to throw it down, man. You had it. You had it. <laughs> yeah, that was all that got excited. I thought he's going to surprise us. You know, if he throws it down, you know that bench is getting up. These That's fans good. would get up. <laughs> no doubt. And they'll probably just be staring at him like, what did you just do? <laughs> exactly. I think he's the it for senior night next year. Ooh, nice Bailey. Bailey having a nice solid game. That gives him nine. Bailey dropping in like it's hot here at LCA. Yes, he is. Double team. Timeout, LCA. Well, it burns a timeout, but, I mean, you got to protect every possession, right? We most certainly do here in the fourth quarter, especially in a tight game like this. So, it is a great, great matchup here, and that's what we expected tonight. And we've got it. Fifty-one forty-nine. Fifty-one forty-nine. See what I was, I was meaning to ask you. Are you still doing your uh, radio show? I am not doing the uh, sports now. Just uh, I've got one I'm doing called Hope is Here. I do on 99.1 FM, kind of an encouragement show, uh, Monday through Friday, 1245 to 1 p.m. And Georgetown College Basketball doing their away games and their coaches' shows on the radio. Uh, just got back from Williamsburg, Kentucky, the University of the Cumberlands, where well, Mr. Hall will be playing next year. You're going down there and uh, checking out campus for him, right? That's exactly right. They, <laughs> they've got a beautiful gym, man. I'm telling you. It's yeah, I know. Really they got a good coach, coach, too, don't they? They do. Coach Butcher does a really nice job. I think Austin's really going to like it down there. Well, there if you're you not here at this one, you are missing out. Or luckily, you can watch it online. Oh, good play out of the timeout. Oh, oh, Henderson couldn't finish, but had his man sealed. And well, same, same thing. You got to hit anything close. Three balls up. Spartman gets a rebound. He goes up strong. Can't get it. Henderson had it, but gets knocked out of his hands. Yeah, that's going back to LCA. And that was the right call because Spartman, when he came down, he tried to he swatted at the ball and knocked it out of the hands of the, of the Eagles. 51-49, left the Catholic leading by two. Rowe brings it up. Catholic in a, like a 3-2. Atkinson Sims at Kumo PLLC, my good friend John Sims. I want to thank him for all his support while I got an opportunity, Greg. And uh, if you're thinking about bankruptcy, give him a call. He can, he can help you out. He is the floor general when it comes to bankruptcy. 
Henderson get ready to get a little stuffering over there. And then he got fouled, so he will go to the free throw line. Hendrickson, a 79% free throw shooter on the year. Well, uh, did you hear the other night, uh, the Bluegrass Sports Awards, uh, KHSA accepted the Jim Host Award, the U Sports Award, and the commissioner is up on stage and he says one of the most powerful things I think that any commissioner could say when he's talking about AAU. He said, he said this, and I quote, he said, how many times have you seen a fire truck go down Main Street to celebrate an AAU championship? Mm. How wow. powerful is that? That's good. He said what we've got is special at this level. Mm. That's good. Yeah, that, it that is. Powerful, meaningful, right to the point. Yep. Julian Tackett does a great job as the commissioner of Kentucky High School Athletic. And with that said, uh, I'm going to do a special show talking about the positives, the negatives, and that type of thing. We're going to have some AAU experts on there. We're going to have some high school experts on there and just kind of like a round table to talk about how they can coexist together. Mm, I like that. Because right now there's a big competition going on. There's really no postseason for these high school teams anymore. You, you get eliminated out of districts or a region, you're playing the next day for the AAU team. Yep, yep, that's you, true. You continue to play, and that's the problem. That's yeah. what the problem is. There, there should be, there dead, should be a compromise. A yeah, some yeah. kind of dead period there. Yeah, let the high school kids work with their teams. Road drives, little pull-up jumper, it's good. Kyle Rowe does a grown man's move right there. He gives LCA the lead back, 52-51. Wow, what a, what a physical game, but you gotta expect lots of big guys on both teams. Yeah. Zim Payne, Sparkman's a really big kid, number 14. T.C. Price hands it off to Bailey, over to Johnson. He'll shoot it from anywhere. You better stay on him once he steps inside midcourt. Payne, he can fill it up too. Over to TC Price. Looking inside, Spartan trying to post up Hendrickson, but Hendrickson a load on defense. Six, seven, spreads out. Bailey, can he get another three? He does. That's four threes. He's, he's been hitting it, man. I mean, he is sweet string music here at Lexington Christian Academy. Keegan Bailey, that's his fourth three. You guys don't go anywhere. This game is going to come right down to the wire. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Kicks it out. Rose, good pass to – I'm sorry, I meant Dalton, Dalton to Rose. Man. Good ball movement by the Eagles. Bailey created the foul, committed the foul there. Just a second on Bailey. Check out this. Uh, West Pike, while we were at the free throw line here, says, watching this game takes me back. I remember when Lex Kath under Coach Haney was number two in the country. That same year, Lexington Christian with less than five wins. I can't remember exactly, but I don't know if they won a game at all that year. Hmm. Yeah, I remember Coach did, Haney. So did Wesley, your response, did LCA win that game? That's the question. Yeah, don't leave us hanging. Let us know. Yeah, don't let us hang. You got to know. That's a great. Great thought there. I'm, I'm 54 all move. right now. Haney, uh, one of the greatest coaches of all time. Oh, phenomenal. And the athletic director really took Lexington Catholic sports to another level. You know the mastermind behind all those Lexington Catholic championship teams, don't you? Who's that? Tommy Houston. Man. Come yeah, on. I, yeah, I was getting ready to say Tommy, and I couldn't think of his last name. Man. Yeah, Tommy, yeah, yeah. Tommy, Tommy Houston was oh, the yeah. mastermind behind all those teams, man. Tommy's. Long and time. he's, he's uh, on the Lexington Catholic bench right I now. I say, I thought he was here tonight. Yes. I thought I saw him. Yep. You know, he was at LCA for a while under Coach Carter. Yep, I remember that too. Matter of fact, I believe he was a head coach before Carter took over, right? I think he did head coach here for a while, yep, yeah. Yeah, maybe interim for a year or something like that. Or I, he, I just know he was here. Yeah, he was, I think, head coach for a year. Payne free throws up. This is that one, good block out there. Hey. Hacker gets after Hendrickson did a good job screening out. So Payne, a great free throw shooter, but couldn't get that one. Road slips out of his hands. Couldn't get to it in time. Wow. Wow, they're going to say it's LCA basketball. A little surprised. That's the Bubs instant replay. Well, let me go back in time. Or back far enough. Get the 
ball inside. <laughs> Rowe, nice turnaround, can't get it to fall. Good rebound by Johnson. <laughs> Lex Cat fans aren't happy with that. They may have a reason there. I'm not sure. If you're a Lexington Christian fan, you take it, but <laughs> not a, Gotta, they got to remember, we're in church. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Here we go. Payne, often the go-to guy, but there's Johnson. He'll shoot it from anywhere. And he can make it. Bailey, can he get another three? He does. Wow. Man, that's his fifth three. He's that like, kid is lighting it up. Who's going to stop Bailey? Shooting 34% coming into the game but tonight. Who's going to stop oh, Rhodes? <laughs> Good take by Kyle Road. Amazing. Not even close, man. Wesley Pike says Lex Caps was virtually unstoppable that season until the Sweet 16. Just funny how big the gap was between the two at that time. Okay, so he was comparing the gap between the two programs at that time and now comparing them to now and saying, hey, they're they're neck and neck now. That's that's that's, that's the point, point he's yeah, making. That's a great point. Great point. Good point, Wesley Pike. By the way, Wesley Pike, uh, I mentioned that he's a realtor uh, in the Nicholasville Danville area. Okay. And uh, he also has a, a restoration business that's uh, pretty neat, too, so give him a call. He's one of my good friends. All right. There you go. Always good to have good referrals. Only 60 bucks for that, though, Wesley. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> only cost you a state dinner at Malone's for that one, baby. <laughs> All right. Well, Road is the fourth leading free throw shooter in the state. He... Made those two clutch free throws there. Cuts the Catholic lead down to one. Harden in, number one, Javon Harden. Payne, that's a wide open bucket for him, but didn't get that one to fall. He's made that two or three times already tonight, but that one would not fall. Rhodes got it. Uh, he'll take off the dribble all night, and that's wow. until they, somebody stop me. Kyle Rhodes is going to keep taking it. He got fouled. Did you see Bailey get up and block it? He definitely is an athlete. So six six. As much as I like Keegan Bailey, he's gonna have to six foot six, huh? He is. Oh, you talking about Kyle Rose? Yeah, yeah talking about. Rose I was gonna say Bailey. Bailey you know, he's you know, nowhere near six no, foot six. No, he talking. might be five six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He might be knocking five eleven, maybe. And uh, great athlete though. But man, you really gotta get Rose because before he gets it up, because he's so strong. Unfortunately. This is a free throw, which doesn't happen often. It's, like I said, fourth in the state at 89.5%. But unfortunately, that, uh, that one didn't fall. Coach Salzman, he wants a timeout. He's going to take a full timeout and get his game plan. We only got 211. So. Either that or I thought he was going to call for the pedigree. You know how Triple H <laughs> does the pedigree? <laughs> oh, goodness. That's funny. Absolutely. All right, well, right now, scoring-wise, we've got Carter Hendrickson with 18 points. He's made six three-pointers. Will Hacker with nine points. He's made three three-pointers. Kyle Rowe leading everybody with 23 points. And then Austin Hall has got seven points. Over for Lexington Catholic, Keegan Bailey has been on fire. He's got five three-pointers for 15 points total on the night. Zan Payne has got 13. And Ben Johnson having a phenomenal game. The true freshman, 17 points. So Yeah, he is. Hey, I'm going to be back here tomorrow, too. I need to give a plug for that. Uh, we got the freshman championship game tomorrow. It's uh, all the freshman teams got together and made this big tournament that was hosted here at LCA. Coach, uh, uh, Coach Valentine kind of put it all together. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a big time tournament. I mean, you got teams like Scott County, Lexington Catholics in it, I believe oh, in the wow. championship. Lexington Catholics in the championship tomorrow. So. Uh, yeah, keep that in mind. All the big team, all the big schools came here and did the freshman tournament, so we're going to have that tomorrow, the championship game. Wow. What time is that? All right, 57 all. We are tied. Both teams are phenomenally defensive, only giving up uh, basically 52 points when you round up the decimal points of the 10th. And so it's going a little bit more, but not much here, 57 each. So. LCA out of the timeout goes to a 2-3 zone, so good job by Coach Valentine. Switch up the defense a little bit. Trying to get a trap on Bailey. He almost loses it. He does lose it. Good steal. Hacker goes up, and he makes it. it. Will Hacker, good job by Nate Valentine. 
We call the 2-3 and the trap out of the 2-3 on the first pass. You do that, you say, we're going to trap the first pass on the wing, and it worked to perfection. Yeah, that was coaching right there at its finest. Absolutely. Oh, and the miss there by Payne. Good strong rebound. Hall gets it over the road. Road brings it up. He kicks it in the corner. Hacker, he's been on fire. Damn. <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. Well, look at the student section there. Loving it. That's, uh, that's definitely our Bud's instant replay of the game. And you might as well call it the Bud's long range shot of the game because that right there was phenomenal. All right. Let's watch it on the Bud's instant replay, can we? Absolutely. Let's see it. All right. So they find them in the corner. Here's a, we're going to slow it down for you. Watch the crowd's reaction. Yeah. We got a timeout down there. Wow. wow. Slow-mo right here, Bud's instant replay. Thanks to Bud's gunshot. Will Hacker just having a really, really solid junior season. That corner three is like a layup for him. I would bet he could make eight out of 10 from that if he was left wide open because he loves the corner three. Let's watch, can we watch it again? I, that was just so amazing there. Let's watch it again here on the instant replay. You're gonna see over on the corner. And we're, we got it slowed down to 50% for you, but watch the crowd's reaction when he hits it. Look at that. Huge, huge bucket. Well, that's what you call being focused. Will Hacker, he saw the big man running after him, trying to alter his shot, but he laser focused. That may be a Sports Center top 10 because of the right there behind him was the ESPN table, right? Yep, yep he, that's got a possibility. I agree. Hacker is just filling it up. Held his follow through on his shot, was focused in on the rim, even with, I can't remember the Spartan or who it was that tried to uh, block his you know, attempt to try to get the block, but wow, nice job by Will Hacker. That was big time. What a game. Lexington Catholic LCA. Now Hacker will go to the free throw line. Hacker's got 14 points after burying his fourth three of the night. Fortunately, can't make the free throw, so five-point lead here for the Eagles. Stay in the 2-3 here. They get it to Payne in the corner to Johnson. He fakes a three, gets it to Payne. Ooh, dangerous pass. It was. Harden drives, kicks it to Johnson. Wide open, can't do that. <laughs> and there's Johnson answering. Big three from him. We got a two-point game. One minute left. One minute left. Kyle Rowe brings it over. He's trapped immediately, obviously. Great pass underneath the hacker, back to Hall. Over the road. Well, gonna try to run this Tell of the down. tape, Greg. Tell of the tape. Well, here's the best thing. LCA is the fourth or fifth best free throw shooting team in the state of Kentucky, but it's a whole other thing when the game's on the line, but we'll see what they can do here. Pierce Dalton. Time out. Valentine says, let's get a T.O., baby. Oh, man, Coach, he doesn't realize how much he's running me up here. <laughs> <laughs> William Warfield wearing lots of hats tonight as he helps with the multimedia here, also here at the home games. But wow, what a game. LCA though shoots 75% from the free throw line on as a team, which is fifth in the state of Kentucky. But 75.4 to be exact. But obviously, man, it's a whole other story when there's less than a minute in the game and you go to the free throw line. But hey, that's what all the off-season workouts are for. And you live for moments like this. Right now, obviously, the key is trying to get the ball inbounds and then being strong with it because Catholic's a very good defensive team. They're obviously going to go for a steal first, but they've got some guys with some quick hands. Keegan Bailey, you better know where he's at because he can definitely take your lunch very quickly. Um, trying to figure out who else is in for them. I believe Harden, number one's in. And Bailey and Harden, you got to watch those guys. Johnson, the freshman's good. Zen Payne for a big man. has got some great hands. So, be interesting to see who they will try to foul if they can't get a steal. Um, free throw shooters, Henderson, 79%. Austin Hall, 77%. Road, 89%. Uh, Pierce Dalton, 58%. Will Hacker, 58%. But, got to get the ball in bounds. I guess they'll try to get it to Road. He's big, he's strong, and he's the best free throw shooter. 
So, wow, no contact there, but they get him. Also, they go for the trap. Henderson at 6'7". Oh, dangerous pass. And Hacker goes up. Wow. Oh, man, he hit his head hard, dude. They're one uh Coach Valentine's asking for a uh, intentional foul. foul. Yeah, that was a really hard foul. Which, don't blame him, but a little surprising. I don't call that a catch one. Let's, let's look at it. Oh, right on the back of the head. Yeah. Looks like what happened to. Uh, yeah, the other day. Uh, let, me, uh, let me back it up just a little so we can see the point of contact here. But watch this. Yeah, Baylor Brown, I think he's out tonight. Uh, I seen him down on the bench. Right. We're going to super slow it here. I mean, he was going for the ball. Yeah, they that's not a, the that's ball. definitely yeah. not an intentional foul. Yep, I, I'll have to agree after that. That's not it. I agree. Looked rough, but as he goes up here, Bailey does definitely go for the ball. Gets the hard foul. It's just unfortunately Will got knocked off his feet. And so. All right, so here's here's the thing. So we can clear the air right now because everybody's thinking it's intentional. It was not intentional foul. It was, he went for the ball. Okay, so it, it was a foul. It was just a foul. A good hard foul. Yeah, it was a good I mean, hard foul. But he went for the ball. And now, the, the problem is, is when Hacker, Hacker came down, he hit the back of his head on the floor real hard. And so that is why everybody is – is up out of their seat. Looks like Zeke Greer is going to check into the game. He'll yeah. be the one shooting the free throws. Hackers are definitely going to have a headache tonight. Yeah, Baylor Brown, same thing happened against Lafayette, yeah. I believe it was. So. Yeah, exactly. Zeke's only been to the free throw line 11 times because he's just a sophomore, but a really good shooter. So kind of tough, though, to come off the bench ice cold like that, but he's a gamer, so. He will get two shots, though. That's the good part out of this. First one's up. Okay. The rim's out. I believe that he'll make this one. That one, he, he holds his follow through. I believe this one will go in. He'll hold the follow through. He's a little looser now, so. But unfortunately, couldn't get either one to go. And that's tough coming off the bench like that, man. That is yeah, so tough. Yeah, big game like this, too. Ice cold, absolutely. No, uh, no warm up. So, timeout, Rexon and Catholic. Full timeout. We're gonna keep it right here. All right, 62 to 60. Lexington Catholic's got a chance now. It'll be their ball on their side of the court. Uh, right now, it looks like uh, Coach Salzman is gonna have Ben Johnson, the freshman, in. Sam Payne, the senior. Javon Harden, the junior. T.C. Price and Keegan Bailey. So, good news, LCA's got a two-point lead. The big thing, you don't want any threes. You don't want to give them a chance to win the game. So, knock out all, uh, eliminate all three-point opportunities. And you got to find Johnson, number 33. He will shoot it from anywhere and is a phenomenal three-point shooter. He's already got 20 on the night, and I believe four of those, or maybe five or three. I think it's actually five. So, got to find Ben Johnson, no doubt about that. Isaiah Hunt, number 21, has checked into the game for LCA. He will replace Zeke Greer as, unfortunately, Will Hacker just took a brutal fall there at the back of his head. But he's drinking some water. He's a... Uh, He's okay, other than just like William Warfield said, he's probably going to have a pretty bad headache tomorrow, but Abbeville will be a good <laughs> friend of his tonight. All right. Did you hear Did you hear the crowd chanting, show the block, show the block? <laughs> uh, well, we got bad news for him. It was not a bad foul. Wow, what a take by Ben uh, Johnson. Ties us up, don't it? Yep, Rhodes got it. We're tied. Rhodes will take it to the basket, or he'll kick it to somebody for a shot, and he's foul. fouled. Well, Rode is one of those guys you definitely want at the line. And there's four point, what, 4.8? 4.8. So we got five seconds. Still plenty of time for Catholic. So still got to make these free throws. And, man, with Ben Johnson, he can shoot it from anywhere. So five seconds is 4.8. I mean, five seconds is a lot of time. But Rode's got to make these first. And the first one's up. It's good. Now remember, 
24. with the time on the clock. Now this, the the close games like this have been bad to LCA on, at this gym. We we've seen it. <laughs> Brian Station, Eric so. Boss, Boone, remember That's that one? Coach Valentine calls the timeout. Yes, yeah, we have you've got seen you've got to put a man on whoever's bringing that ball up the court. If you don't, something like that could happen again. You learn from the past. Correct it now. Let's see what he does. Uh, he'll have a good game plan of uh, uh, what to do. Uh, the interesting see who brings it up. Do they have Bailey, who's a tremendous <laughs> ball handler, number five, their outstanding senior, who's hit five threes himself. So uh, there would be uh, nothing wrong with that. It, a lot of times what you do, what coaches will try to do, is have the guy, whoever gets it, drive, and then whoever tries you have two guys, one on each wing, and then whoever comes off to help, then you pass it and kick it to that guy for the wide open three. I uh, remember Ty Rogers hitting the three to beat Drake in the NCAA championship first round game when my brother was uh, head basketball coach at Western Kentucky University. And their point guard, Tyrone Braselton, took the ball all the way. And then when they helped off him, he kicked it to Ty Rogers for the three that won the game for Western Kentucky University. There we they go, they're gonna to have Payne. an opportunity. Henderson, he's gonna drive. Good job, Payne. I hope he's all right with his wrist. Yeah, he's, he's holding his wrist. Yeah, that's not good. Now, well, I see the Catholics asking for an intentional foul. Uh, that wasn't an intentional foul either. I think one it was on LC or on Catholic while ago against Will. Unfortunately, got his feet out from under him. But Payne, Payne's hurt, man. Well, look at the guys, his his teammates, the reaction on their faces. This all does right, not look good. Let's watch this again. See what happens. Carter goes up to get the ball. Ooh. Yeah, he came down on his wrist. Yeah, he, all, of, all the weight put right there on the wrist. Well, and then unfortunately, his teammates trying to check on him and yeah. all, all of their faces look at him. A couple of them got their jerseys up over their face, so I'm afraid that it's not good. And yeah, they're, they're I hate to see that. Wow, what an outstanding Was that his play. shooting hand? That's his right hand, yeah. I mean, it looked like from the angle that he fell on the right hand. Yeah, they're, but they're going in and getting them. An Andrew Carlson uh, over there uh, from Bluegrass Orthopedics, and he's he's over there getting them some uh, ice. It looks like he's going to get them some ice and things. But I'll uh, see. He's fortunate. I mean, their their training office is just right here in the yeah, corner. Absolutely. So, so and Andrew's already back. So yeah, that's absolutely awful. Just hate the that when he tried to brace his fall, just. Same thing with Will Hacker. Both teams went for the ball, the ball and the yeah, block. So neither team. Gets all right, we're, I don't want to speculate on this or not, but they just brought a uh, look like oh, a, a stint or, or yes. a splint or something yeah. out. So. Yep. All right. Um, and he's going to need a. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we get the play back underway, folks. Lexington Catholic will have to put somebody at the line uh, because he was fouled, and uh, yeah, their uh, their star is down. Yep, that's uh, Will Hacker, hard, ha his head, and then on that one there with the wrist yeah. uh, or hand. It looks like they may be calling in uh, uh, ambulance for C. Pain. Uh, well, let's uh, just right. take that. He's a competitor, having a phenomenal senior season. Yeah, let's uh, let's go back and look at some of these uh, replays if we can. And uh, not that particular not that particular one, but, uh, you know, just some of the, the highlights from the first half, if we can, okay? All right. That. Shooter can't get that one to fall. Oh, great pass there. Another better pass from Bailey, but unfortunately, Sparkman couldn't make it wow. but the foul. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Speaking of him, he says, there you go, Mr. Warfield. I'm going to hack in the corner. Dalt to road on the block. He goes up strong. He gets it. Kyle Rowe with the first quarter. Hasn't shot one yet this quarter. Bailey with the three ball. It's good. Buckets. Oh, pulls up. Good defense by Hacker to make him alter the shot. Yeah, that, was, that was definitely a block. I was from Huntington just about every day to watch his son play. Time, but LCA actually got up uh, midway through the first quarter. And Carter Henderson said, I didn't get any threes in the second quarter. But now the Josh Moore from the Herald Leaders in the house. always. Hendrickson, can he get another three? He does! Do, do you see the mean look that he gives when he goes back down the down the top? Oh. He's great, man. 
Oh, yeah, he's going to miss watching him. Wow. Shooters roll there, Ben. Carter Henderson leading everybody with 15. Cal Rhodes got nine. Austin Hall, two. But Cal Rhodes said, I'll take double figures, too. I've got 12 now. Without Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. And Payne counts the bucket and is talking. He's not being you know, with his dad coaching, but, man, it'd be hard to pass up, wouldn't it? Well. And the three ball made by Johnson, so he's got 11-2. So what it what had happened? We we got some information while we were watching the replays, but um, it was his leg. It was his leg uh, that I mean, when we looked at the replay, it looked like he kind of put all his weight on his wrist, and that's what we initially thought. But it was his leg that uh, was injured there. Let's look at it. Let's look at it real quick one more time. If we got time, let's see. We're not going to have time. We'll look at it after the game is over. With. Well, probably his ankle or knee may have. Buckled on him when yeah. he landed. It just they, did, like they put the stint on his on his uh, right leg. So. Yeah, because he had his arms fine. He was able to put him around. Yeah, put him around. A couple coaches guys. and help carry him off. The trainers, uh, Andrew Carlson, and so. Ooh. I just hate that for that young man. What a let's great, hope, great. Let's hope it's nothing major. But Andrew Carlson is uh, a expert. And, uh, and like ACLs and things like that. Let's hope it's not that serious. But Patrick Gil Hagen, and he makes the first one. He comes off the bench cold, man. Talking about a lot of pressure. Yeah, this is. You got one second on the clock. Second one's up. It's good. So that makes it two. Wow. Ty, that, wow. How about that kid to come off the bench in this situation and hit those? Oh, <laughs> wow. All right, we're going to overtime. Well, All right. What a game. Let's look at that replay again, uh, that that last. Uh, let's look at it. I'm going to slow it down. Right, so he's going to drop. See. Oh, yeah. Let's look at it right here. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. You can see it from can that you, angle. Can you see it? Yeah, his knee watches. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I see it. Wow. Yeah, he's. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Well, I mean, we didn't have an angle underneath the basket. We hope to in districts that we can put one under the baskets and things, but, um, oh, but we did see enough on that replay. Yeah, you could see you look low that time. Cause yeah, because we were looking totally at the wrist and the arm. Yeah, well, I thought he was bracing himself, and that's why it was so hurting, but it was the leg. and Yeah. Oh, man, that's tough. That's tough. Man, All right, it. well, overtime. Overtime it is. All right, so here we go. Overtime. Both teams, Will Hacker out with probably a concussion, and unfortunately, Zan Payne with a severe leg injury probably, and uh, thoughts and prayers to both of them. And, and that's a big, uh, that's a big loss for Catholic. And yeah. I certainly pray for, for Z Payne to get better. Absolutely. Hall, gets, they get the Isaiah Hunt on the tip there. Rhodes got it. 64-64. Road tries to drive. Good defense there by Harden. Three ball attempt by Henderson. It's off. Road gets the rebound. Shoots a high runner there. Not a runner, but just a jumper. I'm sorry, and he misses it. Catholic with the rebound. Harden's got it. Guarded by Isaiah Hunt. Isaiah Hunt taking over for Hacker. Harden with a nice little jump shot there. We're watching the game live here on prepspin.com. William Warfield alongside Greg Horn. Live here for this one. Kyle Rhodes gets it over to Isaiah Hunt. Gets it down to Hendrickson on the block. He'll try to back his man in. Nice up and under move by Hendrickson. That was huge. That was a big time move right there, the old up and under and the follow through. We're tied. Harden, he's filling it, but can't get it. Nice rebound by Johnson, though. He came out of nowhere and got that one. High arc and shot, can't get it. Hendrickson with the rebound. You got to remember, a, a lot of these kids played against each other. It was a rivalry even in middle school. That's true. Been several years of this competition. Hendrickson gets it. 
Hall backs down, but needs to get out of the way. It's Hendrickson with the runner in the lane. Are you serious? What do you want? He's been watching old school tapes or something on that. Yeah, that's a little vintage Magic Johnson against the 76ers running the baby hook there in the lane. People have to YouTube that. Like Magic Johnson with the hook shot? What are you talking yeah, you, about? You took him back. Yeah, 76ers after Kareem went down, and he had to step in and play center in yeah. the championship game. It's the NBA Finals, baby. And the following year when Kareem called it quits, right? I think he did. Yep. Yeah, and, and Pat Riley had that, that talk with Magic and said, I need you to be my leader, and that rest is history. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Johnson trying, I mean, T.C. Price trying to drive, gets it out to Harden. Harden by Isaiah Hunt. It's a great matchup there, two great athletes. Nice take by Harden, but Hunt did a good job of moving his feet and being able to alter that shot just enough. Carter yeah. pulled that down like a man, like a big foot. <laughs> 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 that is a strong, strong rebound. Hendrickson gets it. He tries to go up. and Price going to commit the foul. Got to love the 6'7 senior. He'll be playing Division I basketball next year. University of North Florida in Jacksonville, Florida. That's going to be five on T.C. Price. So, unfortunately, it'll be all for him. Checking in will be the junior, Bryce Scott. Hendrickson will be going to the free throw line where he's a 79% free throw shooter. Catholic has lost their star, uh, star power for him. And now they've lost one of their star guards. Probably their star guard, you know. Yeah. Price, Price has got some game. Yeah, D.C. Price is a very nice player. Let us know if you're watching out there. Send us a tweet, at PrepSpin. Give us a shout out. We'd love to hear your feedback. Mingy Beef Jerky, the official game day snack of PrepSpin. I want to thank them. Hendrickson now has 23 points. Rhodes got 25. Mm. Free throws. You got to hit those. Yep. Gotta, especially in tight games like this one. But Johnson, he's patting the rock outside. trying he's, to. He's looking for that three, isn't he? He is. He's trying to size road up, see if he can take him off the dribble. And nice take. He takes it, but oh, my God. Blocking goodness. foul call. Hall tried to take the charge. Well, you know, I think I think your take – I don't know how the officials really call it out there, but I think your take is on it. Could Johnson really run over Hall? That's, <laughs> you know, I think that's how they look at some of that. And the, the answer to that is no way. <laughs> well, of course, they don't have the little half circle that they have in college and NBA. Exactly. So but, that but, it's, tough. but it is ref discretion on how far underneath the basket they are. Ben Johnson, man, he's having a phenomenal game, 22 points, and just a freshman. You know, I keep saying that, but I have to remind myself, he is just a freshman. Just he's a got freshman, 22. Yeah. Got to keep it out of the corner. That was a dangerous pass yeah, there. He, oh, wow. Hall went down on this. Oh, Isaiah Hunt couldn't get it to finish, but, man, we got guys. This is a physical game. Yeah, Hall, Hall bounced down uh, pretty hard on his uh, – uh, what, what's what's the right terminology for it? The omlegata um, or whatever. It's <laughs> the gluteus maximus. Or, uh, there you go. We use that. We use yeah, that. Sound good. Uh, we'll, uh, there, there's something called an omlegata. Yeah, I've heard of that one too. Uh, <laughs> just made up the lower lower part of his body there. But Isaiah Hunt with a big free throw. He's not been to the free throw line much this year. But man, that was a huge one. Makes them both. And, he was only 8 of 15 from the free throw line, 53%. But, man, he stepped up and shot those two with confidence. Three-point game, 105 left. Going to try to get a trap there. That worked really well earlier. Else he got some steals. You got to watch Bailey on the three, too. Because oh, <laughs> drive by Hall. And Sparkman was trying to look inside to the big guy. Bryce Scott, but good job. It's you're supposed to have your hands up on defense. When it gets late in a game like this, especially over time, people get fatigued and hands are down. But There's Bailey three. Wow. Got he got it. That's Man, that was from way back. That was downtown Nicholasville. That was six threes now for Keegan Bailey. My goodness. He was tremendous. Isaiah Hunt, the nice guy. He could take him, and he does. Oh. I think he could have went, kept yeah. taking him because he had him. Isaiah should have took that right to the yeah, basket. He, he had Bryce Scott on his hip. He could have taken him. Rhodes says, I'll show you how to do it. I'll pass it to the deuce for Austin Hall. The double-double just fed the big guy. Yes. Kyle Rhodes, great pass. Uh-oh. Got it. 
And Catholic has a one-point lead. We've got 15 seconds left. Will Coach Valentine call a timeout? Is he just going to let him play? Those are I tough things to play. Remember, Coach Cal let him play. Hendrickson with the three ball. It's all. Hall tries to get it. Harden's got it. Free throw. And Catholic looks like they're going to win this one. Well, it's not over yet. I mean, there's still plenty of time for LCA. Looks like a Duke-Kentucky uh, moment, right? Yeah. 2.3 seconds can be tough, especially, I mean, if he makes them both, they can still tie it with the three, but that's, that's going to be tough. We'll see what happens. Hendrickson had a good look. He just couldn't get it to fall, so Ben Johnson, my goodness. Are you kidding me? 25 points. It's called a Madubla, Madubla Obligata. There you go. I knew I couldn't say that. So. Leslie Pike tweeted us again. Harden. He would know what that is. <laughs> yeah. 75-73. Wow. Harden. He's only got three points. That was a big one right there. Second one. That is good. So it's LCA's got an opportunity to tie here, but they got to get a shot off. Don't. Uh, I, was gonna say, I don't know if I would have done it well. Yeah, yeah. Timeout called. All right, so Nate's going to draw something up. I, I was afraid that they were going to throw the long pass, right? But hold on just one second. All right, 76-73. Lexington Catholic up by three. What a game it's been. Ben Johnson just making big-time shots. You've got Carter Harrington with 23. Isaiah Hunt with two. I think Will Hacker had 14 before he went out with a, probably a slight concussion. Hopefully it's just slight. Uh, 25 points for Kyle Road. Nine points for Austin Hall. For the Knights of Lexington Catholic, four points for Harden. 18 points for Keegan Bailey. 25 points for Ben Johnson. None bigger than that three ball he just hit in the corner. And Bryce Scott has got three points. So what a game. Salzman wanted to see the defense, and he's going to call timeout. Good call there by Coach Southman. So, or he uh, wanted to see the offense, I should say. Right, right. It set his defense, so knew what you meant there. It's, uh, what a game. We expected a great game, and we did. Both teams are really good defense. But tonight, 74 points. 70, I'm sorry, 76 and 73 points. Both teams giving up around 52 points a game. And so, but we got obviously an extra period with overtime. But this has just been a great high school basketball game, no matter who you're for. Yeah, just this, a great basketball. This has game. been everything we imagined it would be. Unfortunately, we had a couple uh, couple people get hurt in the game. But, yeah. you know, it, it's, uh, it's been a great game. That it has. All right, here we go. Ironically, the Bon Jovi living on a prayer song is playing. <laughs> All right, Rhodes going to try to inbound it. So, obviously, Hendrickson or Hall are going to be one of the two that you're going to think is going to get it because you've only got, I believe it's 1.8 seconds here, which it'll come up. There you yeah. go, 1.8. Yeah, so, you definitely got plenty of time to get a catch. But see what they do. They try to go backwards to Hall, out to Harder. Hendrickson for a three, and can't get it. But was he foul? Nope, was not foul. Catholic with a big win tonight here at LCA. Now these two teams are going to meet again in the districts. Yep. I'm pretty sure that they're going to meet again in the districts. Catholics, well, Catholics just locked up the number one. What a game. Great game. It's, it's, you like high school basketball, you right. didn't get much better than Here's this. Here's your district right now. Catholic one, LCA two, Lafayette three. Um, who else we got Brown there? Station, I think. No, four. no, no, in our district. Oh, this district. Yeah, in um, our district. We got uh, Chase Creek, yep. which will be in the uh, playing game. 
Yep. And who am I missing? Dunbar. We got Dunbar. Dunbar. Dunbar will be in the. Uh, I believe Dunbar is going to be in the playing game too. We'll see. Let's see. Yeah, Dunbar should be in the playing game. Chase Creek will be in the playing game. And then you're going to have Catholic one, Lafayette. Uh, Lafayette and Lafayette and CA still got an opportunity, I believe. Well, they play yet, yeah, and they play Tuesday night, don't they? They they just play. Yeah, they play again. They, they play make, again. Yeah, they can make that makeup game, game that Tuesday game night. Is the big game. That's gonna be a big game. Because that's gonna decide two and three. Exactly. Yep. Because uh, LCA now. Yeah, that's gonna decide two and three. You're right. I tell you wow. what. Wow. Actually, I think that. Uh, no, I think actually a lot. Well, it says Lafayette is six and one in the district. So actually, uh, I think now by LCA losing, the Lafayette so automatically has got so Lafayette's it. Lafayette's too. Yep. Cap and Catholic actually is five and two. They're six and two. So Lafayette, if they win, they'll get first. Catholic will, will be second. If Lafayette loses, then you've got a tiebreaker between Lafayette and Catholic. And let's see what they have done. Now they throw one of those district games out, right? Do they? I'm pretty sure if they play three times, they they throw one of them out. I'm pretty sure. Well, but but they just play twice, don't they? All right, we need get, we need to talk with Gary because he knows the exact formula. Right, right, right. Or we can ask one of the coaches, I guess. Lafayette beat Catholic um, just this past Friday, sixty-eight to fifty-eight. Okay. And so but Lafayette, Lafayette's your one. Lafayette has already beat Catholic uh, twice. All right, Lafayette's number one. So they're number one then. All right. Yeah. Coach Mendenhall and his generals are going to be number one. They are. Yep, they're number so one. So that'd be They'd Lafayette be one. Catholic, uh, two, Catholic two, LCA, LCA three. three, and then you got four and five playing, uh, which is Dunbar, Dunbar and Tate's Creek. Creek. Yep, that's that's how it'll work. So, so basically, you're we're we're basically going to have in the district. You're going to have uh, Lafayette taking on Dunbar in that first game because I'm pretty sure Dunbar will beat Tate's Creek. In that I would first think game. so. No, yeah. no offense to Tate's Creek. <laughs> I know. Unless I mean, unless, I mean you know, if you look at the records, yeah, absolutely. I would agree. And then you're going to get a rematch of these two. Yeah. So these two are going to play each other. Wow. Elimination on the line. The first two games. Well, the first game, I mean. The winner in that game goes on the region. It's even more meaningful That's coming right. up. Because oh, wow. your top two teams go to region. That's right. Yeah, you're right. The next this is still really a good spot for, for LCA and That's true. Cabot. That's true. Well, hopefully Zen Payne's going to be able to play. I uh, concerning at this point, but yeah. hopefully oh. maybe. Get some better news right. for him. So we got it all figured out. My man CJ WL Stats, thank you. Uh, so. Yeah, so it's it's all figured out. There you have it. You're gonna have again. We'll recap this. So so because mm -hmm. I mean we were we were figuring we it were out. We were figuring so. out. <laughs> all right. So Lafayette number one, Lexington Catholic number two, mm -hmm. LCA number three, mm -hmm. Dunbar. Dunbar four, Tate's Creek, Tate's Creek five, and then your first round game. You're going to have Dunbar, Lafayette taking on the winner of Dunbar, Dunbar Tate Street. Street. And then in your other game, Catholic and LCA. Catholic and LCA. Wow. Wow, man. That's <laughs> it's got to be one of the best districts in the state, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. <laughs> My goodness. Well, we This one was a great game, though. It really was. Uh, Zen Payne, for you, unfortunately, went out. He did have 13 points. Uh, uh, wasn't sure on how many he had, but he had 13 points, five rebounds, three assists, and three steals before – he went down there late in the fourth quarter. So, like I said, we hope that it will not be anything major. Didn't look good, but hopefully just a sprain and not any, not a tear. But, wow, what a great game. Just great high school basketball, no matter who you're for. Game, first quarter, LCA up 16-14. Second quarter, Lexington Catholic up. Uh, outscored them 11-7. Then LCA outscored them by two to third. Fourth was tied, and then overtime, Catholic outscores and wins by three. So, what a game. What a game. So, for LCA fans, really heartbreaker there as they really wanted to try to get that one. But that's just how it goes sometimes. And great game. And just hope, uh, like I said, for Zim Payne, he's going to be okay. And then also for uh, Will Hacker that he's going to be all right. I mean, he was walking. He shook hands after the game. So, yeah, you know, it could be a slight yeah, he's concussion. Good. He's good. Yeah, wow, we, we wish uh, both of those guys back to uh, 
to a speedy recovery. But what, what a great game here tonight! And uh, they, <laughs> one of the one of the coaches in the state of Kentucky was watching tonight. He said he's like listening to uh, to prep spin trying to figure out the district seedings, like listening to who's on first with Adam <laughs> Castillo. <laughs> We, we weren't doing that, man. Yeah, I we, weren't, we weren't meaning to. We were just trying to figure it yeah, out. Yeah, we were talking out loud, thinking out loud. <laughs> that's probably not the yeah, most professional thing to do, great. but uh, uh, that's good. I like that. That was who's on first. So I, I, I replied back. I said, we never was good at math. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know about you. I was. And that's, uh, yeah, yeah. I have not my best subject. So, yeah, I should I should have come prepared with the district information, but Wow, what well, a game! You, you had you had it right there. We just had to figure it out because we had yep. to take into account this this game tonight. That's right, absolutely. All right. Well, that's going to be a wrap for here, William. Great job as always, man. Enjoyed yeah, you working too, bro. with you. And next week it's on, man. So Tuesday night will be else a be a good game. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll have uh, we'll have all that for you here live on uh, on Prep Spin. So make sure you tune in. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. All right. Appreciate you. Good night. Thank you.